Slide the shoulder blades down and back. Just gently, oh, pressing away from the floor. <laughs> okay, Thank you. Okay, let's try that again. Welcome to A Kind and Gentle Word. I'm Jordan. This is my dad, Greg. Hello. <laughs> and today we are going to run through a at-home workout using only TheraBands and our bodies just so that you can do something at home or on your travels. First things first, we're gonna stand tall. You don't have to use a mat, it's just really nice to have. These TheraBands I got on Amazon. I also put the link down below if you want the exact same ones or if you just wanna find your own. We're gonna hold the TheraBand shoulder width apart in your hands and then we're just gonna lift our arms up to the sky, take a big stretch, lengthen through the spine, deep breath and lean back, open the chest, lift your chin. You can slide the hands farther apart, bend your elbows, little breath, and dive forward towards your feet. Let the upper body hang forward, shimmy the shoulders, shake the head. Little breath in, and with your exhale, slowly roll up bone by bone with your abs. Draw the shoulders back, head comes up last. <sighs> nice. All right, we're gonna have the hands shoulder width apart, lift them up above your head in a little Y. And then I'm gonna take my feet just outside my hip width, and we're gonna stretch the sides of our body, dipping to the right, keeping my hands the same width apart, and we're gonna dip down toward my right hand, kind of bouncing downward toward my foot. Four, three, two, one. Bring it up and over to the left side and dip toward the left for four, Three, two, one, bring it up, lean back again, open the chest, lift the chin, little breath, and dive forward, releasing that spine. Little breath in, and as you exhale, build up the spine with your abs, roll the shoulders back, shake it all out. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna get into some bigger stuff. I'm gonna go to the ends of the band with my hands. So my thumbs pointed up at the sky, and I'm gonna step into the center of the band. Now I'm using green, so that's a fairly like medium intensity. And my dad is using a red, which is a little bit lighter, but he's taller and these are only five foot. He's above six. So that red is giving us basically the same tension right now. So feet in the center, hip distance apart, and I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see my squat because we're gonna bend the knees and really sit back into an imaginary chair, bring the hands forward. And then I'm gonna wrap the band more around my hands because I'm short and I want more tension. And we're just gonna go into a bicep curl. So palms facing forward, bend at the elbows, bring the hands towards your chest and release with control. Keep your belly button pulled in, back is nice and tall. And if you're feeling sharp pain in your knees, lift up an inch. But I want you to focus on holding those glutes, your booty muscles, your thigh muscles are activated. And this is work in both directions for my arm, lifting up and lowering down. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly rise. Nice. Okay. <laughs> now, we're going to have it. I'm going to take my right foot out. Left foot is still inside the band. I'm going to step forward with my left foot. Right foot steps back, and I have my hands facing the floor. All right, so arms are gonna be down by your sides to start. We're gonna dip down into that lunge, lift the arms straight out in front of you to your chest line, and slowly lower down. For more tension, wrap it more around your hands. For less, just hold on to the very edges. <laughs> and if you wanna get even deeper, bend both knees and sink really deep down. The deeper down you go, wrap it more around your hands to get more tension. We're just going four, three, two, and lift it up and hold it up there. Four, three, two, one, rise, release. Good stuff. We're gonna switch the feet. Right foot in, left foot steps back. Try to imagine you're standing on a railroad track. So you've got both feet pointed straight ahead, a little bit of space, so you're not just in line. We're gonna do the same thing with the arms, same thing with the legs. Bend those knees and also keep the back leg long. We're gonna sink down and just lift and lower those arms. If you wanna get really dynamic with it, you can 
Lift the arms, lower as you rise. Sink down as you lift the arms. But that is a lot happening. <laughs> we got four, three, two, and lift it up, hold. Four, three, two, one, rise, release. Whew, good stuff. Okay. Okay, so this next one is all about the arms. We're gonna step back into the center of the band. And I'm gonna have my pinkies pointed at the sky. So my thumbs are down, palms face behind me. This time I'm gonna hold at the very edges because we're going up toward the shoulders. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna open my arms out like a T. I might not be able to go to that T. I'm just gonna open out and slowly release down. Only lift up as much as your shoulders feel the burn. No sharp pain. Burn is good, sharp is bad. That sharp is not worth it. We got four, three, two, and lift in. Just little pulses upward. Five, four, three, two, one. Slow release. Whew, so I got in there, okay. Now, I'm gonna hold the band in my hands again, shoulder width apart. I'm gonna take my feet wide apart, just outside my mat for me. Might be farther for you. And then turn your toes out like you're a duck. We're in a wide V position. And for this one, we're gonna go into a turned out squat. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see my side action here. As I bend the knees, I'm gonna slide down an imaginary wall, open the hands, activate the inner thigh muscles together as my hands release with control back toward the center. Oh, look out. <laughs> We want the back to stay really tall, activated through the spine. For more tension, bring your hands closer together in the center of that band, or for less, take them farther apart. Got four, three, two, we're gonna sink down and hold and bounce with the inner thigh muscles and pulse outward with your hands. Five, four, three, two, one, rise. Whew. And all this stuff, if you're like, that wasn't enough, just do it again. <laughs> all right, from here, we're gonna drop the TheraBand on the floor so that we have it when we get down there. We're gonna walk to the back of your mat. We have plenty of space out in front of you. We're gonna reach up to the sky. Nice long spine, interlace your fingers, and just dip to the right for a nice little break. Deep breath in, open that rib cage. Bring it up and over. Breath into the right side. Bring it up top, open the arms, lift the chin, little breath. And dive forward towards your feet. Hands on the mat, we're gonna walk the hands forward and hold a beautiful plank for 30 seconds. Now, if this bothers your wrists, you can come up onto your fists or down to your forearms, which is tougher, but why not? You can also add movement, but no need. Embrace the shape, pull the belly button in, try to keep the hips lifted. I have no idea how much time is going on. Yeah. Take a little breath in and lift the hips. Press your chest toward your thighs. Let your head fall into a beautiful pike. We're just gonna hold that beautiful stretch. Bring the knees to the floor and fall back into a child's pose. Letting the arms be long out in front of you. Okay, from here, we're gonna go into all fours, hands and knees. I'm gonna come up onto my fist because it's better for my personal wrist area. Yeah, everybody has their own preference. We're gonna start in a nice neutral flat back and go into cat cow. For angry cat, we're gonna arch the spine up, pull the belly button in, head fills forward, and scoop the lower back, head and tailbone lift for happy cow. I don't know why it's called that. <laughs> and angry cat, pull the belly button in with your exhale, and little inhale as you Scoop the lower back, belly button still stays just a little bit activated. And curl up again. And scoop down. 
and relax to a nice neutral flat back once again. This next move is another animal name, tail wag. So I'm gonna look back at my left hip like I'm looking back at my tail and let my right shoulder follow me, opening up my rib cage. Crank it in. And twist back to the center. And look back at your right hip, pulling that left shoulder with you to open up the left side. Deep breath. And back to the center. And from here, we're gonna go into bird dog. So I'm gonna extend my left leg up and out behind me, point that toe, try to keep my hips level in line and then reach my right arm. So it's opposite arm and leg. Pull that belly button in, feel that length all the way through your limbs, and bring it down, switch. Right leg goes long, left arm reaches. Really reach with your fingertips, point with your toe. It's okay if one side is harder than the other. Bring it down, stabilize. Left leg goes long, right arm reaches. Try not to drop your head right here. It's real easy to do. Try to keep your chin up. We got this. Bring it down and switch. Reach that arm, point with that toe. Bring it down and child's pose. And from here, we're going into another plank because you just can't have enough of those. <laughs> Legs go long, lift up onto your tippy toes and hold. Really hold that belly button in, keep the head and chest lifted. Try not to lean forward or back. Almost there. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> I'm shaking. Me too, it's, it's a good thing. Embrace the shake. It means your abs are quaking in fear of your power. And lift the hips, press your chest toward your thighs. Beautiful triangle of the body. And bring the knees down. Now we're just gonna swoop around to sit on your booty. <laughs> All right, from here, we're gonna do some spine stretches. Okay. So. Legs long out in front of you, feet are close together, arms by your sides, take a breath. And exhale, scoop the hands forward, reach for the toes, shoulders stay relaxed. Lift the chest, pull the arms back. Breath in, exhale, dive forward, reach. I like to flex my feet to get a bigger stretch down the back of my legs. And lift the chest, pull the arms back. We're gonna go into a Frankenstein pose. Arms long, breath in, and dive forward. Pull the belly button in, reach for your toes. It's okay if you can't touch them. We're gonna to bounce toward them and keep reaching farther and farther for three, two, one, and slowly lift up the chest, stacking the spine. Arms relax. We're gonna bend your knees, bring your, and bring the bottoms of your feet together like little prayer feet. Elbows into your knees, hands on your feet, and we're just gonna lean forward and push your elbows into your knees. Not a whole lot of movement for me, but <laughs> That's okay. My knees don't touch the floor either. They might never, and that's okay. <laughs> I've made peace with that. And relax it up. This next one is gonna be a little softer. Hands on your feet and just curl into it as deep as you want. Elbows stay soft. And lift up. We're gonna take the left leg out to the side. Right foot in, knee is bent. If this bend is really sharp, you can have your leg a little more out. It doesn't have to be that intensity of that bend for your knee. Left hand reaches for the left foot. My right arm is gonna reach up and over my head. And for my dad, this is really tough for his shoulder. So he does a strong arm, bending at the elbow, but still open up that chest to the sky. For me, I'm gonna reach all the way over my head for my toes and bring it up and switch. Right leg out, left knee in, right hand reaches for the right foot, left arm goes up and over. Little breath and bring it up. 
And I just want to say, I was not always able to touch the toes. <laughs> that happens over time. Be gentle with yourself. I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. All right. Both legs are, oh, we're going to open both legs out in a big V on the floor. Hands in the center. Sit up tall. Take a breath. And dive forward, reach for the center, and just scratch the floor like you're a cat. Try and just reach farther, little breath, and drag the hands back as you lift the chest. One more. And slowly lift up. Beautiful. All right, we're going back into the tough stuff. We're gonna grab the TheraBand again. I'm gonna put my feet in the center and hold on to the ends. And for me, I'm gonna add this little gray pad underneath my lower back. I have a deep swoop, so this helps me a little bit connect more with my abs. You can use a small flat pillow or maybe like a little hand towel, that works too. And my dad's gonna use a squishy pad for underneath his head because he has a lot of neck trouble. Always a way to make something a little bit more comfortable so you can actually do the work you wanna get into. So again, I'm short, so I'm wrapping the band more around my hands. <laughs> I have lack of length. I'm just gonna take a breath and go into a roll back. So as you exhale, curl backward toward the floor, lengthen all the way out. Little breath, exhale, tuck and curl up, ab by ab, coming all the way up to a sitting position. Breath in. Press the belly button into your spine like somebody just punched you in the belly and slowly mold that spine into the mat. Arms stay straight, little breath. Exhale on your way up. Don't let those elbows bend and help you. <laughs> little breath. Exhale, curl back. Little breath at the bottom. Exhale, come up. Sorry, lost it, I was kissing Minnie. <laughs> okay, this next one, we're gonna stay on the floor. Breath in, exhale, curl back. And I'm gonna keep my right foot in the band, take my left foot out and bring my right foot to the ceiling. And again, we're gonna do some stretches, which is gonna help with our next movement. <sighs> I'm gonna hold higher toward my foot so I get a nice long stretch down my calves, my hamstrings, and even into my foot and lower back. <laughs> and bring that right leg across the body. <laughs> Shoulders stay firm, hip lifts a little, maybe a lot. You can let go, oh, you can let go of the band with one hand if you need to, just to keep those shoulders flat. Yes, thank you, thank you. Your kisses. Thank you. And bring that foot up and over. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and bring that foot up to the top. Switch feet. She is not doing this for the camera. This happens every time. Yeah. <laughs> Bring the left leg across the body. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Try to keep both shoulders down. Get a kiss from the dog. <laughs> oh, other dog is joining. <laughs> <How'd they go? laughs> Bring that left foot up and over if you got a place to do it. Hi. <laughs> yes, yes. And bring both feet up to the top. All right. Both feet are gonna go back into the band. And I'm gonna lengthen my legs nice and long, elbows on the floor, and ab work. So we're gonna go into a windshield wiper. Swoop to the left, right up to the top, and then swoop to the right. If this bothers your lower back, you can bend your knees and have a little smart car windshield. 
Shoulders stay firm. Hip lifts a little, maybe a lot. Wait, Arthur, excuse me. Thank you. One more to each side. And you can bring those feet oh, <laughs> down for a second. Hi, hello. All right, last ab move, guys. We got this. Take both feet to the ceiling. Legs are long, elbows on the floor. And we're just gonna lower and lift. So right here, my range of motion is really small. I have a deep swoop and excuse me, thank you. I have a deep swoop in my lower back and I wanna keep my spine connected to the floor at all times. If you're looking at your six pack, we're getting into the bottom two cans. It's a top spot, one more, and relax. Woo. We're gonna flip over onto your belly so I don't need that pad or the band anymore. We're gonna go into what's called a swan. So I'm gonna bring my elbows out like gold posts on either side of my head. Legs are long behind me. Hands on either side of your head, little breath. And as you exhale, lift the chest, slide the shoulder blades down and back, little breath. And slowly lower the chest back down. Inhale as you lift. Only lift up as much as your lower back stays calm. Arthur, I know you have the TheraBand. Put it down. Leave it. Leave it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> on this next one, we're going to bring the toes underneath you. So stand the toes on the floor. Hands are going to plant into the floor. Elbows high. We're going to push away from the floor, keeping our knees lifted. Use your toes and your palms to push away from the floor. Lift up into your final plank for five, four, three, Two, and lift the hips into your pike. Press that chest towards your thighs, and it's called walk the dog. <laughs> so one heel press down, opposite knee bends forward, and switch. I'm just gonna go for 10 seconds. And hold, heels high. Press your chest even more towards your thighs. Bring your hands below your shoulders, walk them back towards your feet, and use your abs to stand tall. So if you're still here, thank you so much. <laughs> Hit the like button, subscribe for more puppy content. <laughs> Remember to be kind to others and gentle with yourself, for we are all a work in progress, physically and spiritually at the soul. <laughs> Have a wonderful day.